I'm Tom West from Make You Safe, and I'd like to give you just a very swift overview of what we're doing with wearable technology to help send more people home safely from their jobs every day. It's really built around this simple premise that in every industrial environment, clues exist to potential risks and hazards that workers face in these industrial environments. Often these are referred to as gaining access to leading indicator data, which all too often is hard to do. Secondly, uh, could be we want access to more near misses and good catches from the front lines, but nobody gets nearly as many as they would like or actually happen. So we're using sensor technology in this wearable device to collect this type of data automatically so that we can conduct analytics and provide risk and management intelligence to safety leaders and loss control professionals uh, in insurance. Um, in an effort to predict and prevent as many accidents and injuries as we possibly can uh, and ensure worker safety. So envision, if you will, a worker walking into their facility at the beginning of their day, they check this small wearable device out of a base station kiosk, insert that into their armband holster, and now that connected worker can go about their day, go about their job without really having to interact with the device at all. It begins detecting what they're experiencing and what they're exposed to and sending that in real time to our Make You Smart cloud platform, even to a mobile device so that safety leaders and risk management professionals can see that uh, in real time. You're probably asking what kind of data we're collecting. So lots of the sensors on board our device are labeled here, but I kind of like to talk about this in terms of four general categories. We're monitoring ever-changing environmental conditions around a worker. This typically is the realm of the industrial hygienist, things that contribute to fatigue and productivity uh, loss and may cause a hazard or an incident or an injury. Uh, we're monitoring potentially hazardous human motion, uh, slips, trips, and falls, as well as the things that lead to uh, musculoskeletal disorders, uh, sprain strains, um, and we're able to see a picture of worker physicality in total. Um, we're monitoring the location of where these things are occurring. We can see almost like a pin drop on a map uh, on a facility floor plan where these, these indicators are being detected and trends and patterns begin to emerge. There are additional capabilities there as well, like being able to see the proximity of a worker to other workers and proximity to things like pieces of equipment or factory systems. Last but not least, there's a button in the device that a worker can push it has to be intentional, but that activates a voice recorder so they can now report those things they're seeing from uh, safety observations to to-do list items, maintenance requests, even process improvement suggestions and quality concerns. It's also important to point out what we're not doing. We're not collecting anything that's personal or biometric. There's nothing looking inward at the person. Instead, we're looking outward. There's no feedback that may cause a distraction, uh, might cause a further incident. We're not continuously tracking people. There's no button you can push to find out where someone is now. And we send all that data to our software platform, which makes this kind of safety and risk intelligence immediately actionable for safety leaders. They can begin to identify hazards, track them toward remediation over time. They can see the latest voice memos. And there are a bunch of KPIs and measurements that can be useful in helping the frontline safety leader do their work, streamline, the documentation uh, burden that they uh, deal with every day. And also from a corporate point of view or from an insurer point of view, being able to see a portfolio of companies and get trend indicators on real time risk and hazards that are present in those organizations. And last, I'll point out that we're uh, in the marketplace with an all inclusive model uh, that's really tens of dollars per worker. It's on par with a decent set 
of work gloves or eyewear protection. And we're seeing evidence that as use of Make You Safe increases, uh, claims frequency and severity go down by as much as 90%. So thanks very much. Just wanted to share that with you. Here are some additional downloads, uh, resources, and we look forward to answering your questions. <music>